everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to color a semi-realistic, fantastical eye using the Color Therapy app. If you'd like to follow along, find this image under eye. This style of drawing will be a little more loose with the strokes, but still creates a realistic feeling and mood when we focus on the pupil details. All right, so open up the Skin Shades palette. I'm using the third color from the right on the top row, and I'm just gonna be tapping to fill everything in. All right, now select the first color on the last row, and go over to the airbrush tool, size 100 and opacity at 50, and then coloring inside the lines mode set to off. So I'm just shading big strokes right underneath the eyebrow in the corner, and maybe just below the eyebrow here, and then just a little below the eye too. And I'm using the fourth color on the top row, just adding a bit of a highlight underneath that shadow, just adding some broad highlights underneath the eye, etc. I don't want to be focusing too much on this, so I want to focus more on the iris for now. And back to the first dark color we had, go over to the airbrush tool, set the size 16 and opacity at 60. And I'm just drawing that eyelid halfway. And then using the last color on the bottom row, let's just trace the shape of the eye. So just going all the way around. Using the red palette, select the fourth color on the top row, and then with the airbrush tool, set the size to 100 and opacity at 25. Now I'm just adding in some shadows broadly into those same shadow areas as before, and also just kind of adding it around the eye just to add some life to it. And lower the size down to 13. You can draw in the corner of the eye, that's so nice and red. Drawing this really loosely. The template lines are here for you just as a guide. And then in the deep blue palette, select the first color. With the airbrush tool, just raise the opacity to 75 now. And trace all the way around the iris loosely. And you can just bring some of that color into the eye from the outside edge inward a little bit and just kind of scribbling inward. And I'm gonna color the pupil in black loosely. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want. And then from the Lullaby palette under Thematics, I'm using a dull blue and green. And I'm just gonna be coloring in the iris. Just adding in some colors here and there, just nice and loosely scribbling it in. Now lower the opacity to 50. Now let's add a bit of black around the iris now. making Starting to really focus on the eye, making it darker. Just darkening this area right below the eyelid as well. You can also use that dark blue and just start to blend it again inward making it darker. I'm really going to be shading this upper part of the eye because there's going to be a shadow on it from the eyelid. Now I'm using the hologram palette under thematics and just selecting that first color on the top row. Let's set the size at 30 and opacity at 100. I'm just adding a little bit of bright purple into the eye just sort of in the bottom area. And now turn coloring inside the lines mode to on. Just lower the size now to 16. And now let's go ahead and add some colorful streaks into the bottom half of the eye. You can use some of those colors from the hologram palette. And I'm just adding little streaks in there using the same blue or just adding a little turquoise or maybe a bright yellow here and there. Now with the pen tool, set the size at five and opacity at 85. And using white, just add little streaks right into the bottom half of the eye. So we're just really making it bright right down there. And with the smear tool, set the size at five and intensity at 100. And just blend those streaks softly up and down. Now back in the red palette, select the sixth color on the top row with the airbrush tool, set the size at 14, and opacity down to 40, and then coloring inside the lines mode to off. I'm just gonna add it into the right side of the pupil a little bit, so there's a little bit of red to it. And then back in the hologram palette, just select that lightest yellow. Let's set the size at 25 and opacity at 60, and just color in the whites of the eyes now. And I'm just doing it really loosely, just a little bit here and there. Now with the pen tool, set the size to five and opacity at 100. And using that lightest color from the hologram palette, just add little light reflections into the eye. So I'm just doing like little dots kind of across the eye into the white of the eye, maybe a few in the eye here, etc. And you can also fade them a little bit using red in the same settings for the airbrush tool and just add a little dot into the pupil. To finish it up, softly blend the skin around the eye and then you wanna add in the eyelashes and eyebrows. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.